I'll start it out. Um, what happened? <laughs> I'm trying to be like magnanimous. L- like what? Mag- magnanimous. That's a word. What? I don't know what that word is. Okay. Okay, real quick before we jump ahead, I, I-, I was curious about game one. Was was there anyone or any people, group of people that, that jumped out at you that, that either surprised you or also in the t- in sense of preparation, like, Man, he was he was as locked in as we all need to be. Is there is there anybody that falls into that category, or were they oh, all? I think a lot. Way? I I, you know, I was very pleased, obviously, with the outcome of the performance. I, I thought, you know, our focus three penalties. I know I know two of them we would, we, you know, we'd like to have back. Uh, um, but you know, even the personal foul on the on Austin was an effort play. Um, so. Um, you know, I like that. I thought Jason played extremely well. Um, you know, again, guys that we've been talking about here for a long time, I thought stepped up. I thought Kobe Bain stepped up and played well. I thought our line as a whole played well. Defensively, again, we had we had some, you know, again, the guys in the secondary, I thought, and we didn't get challenged a ton uh, vertically. And uh, so I anticipate that will change this week. And uh, so we'll see. But, again, they, they're playing well. Marvin Grant, and I think we've been talking about Marvin some, and I think he, he played to that level. And, and we'll continue to need him to do that. I thought up front we were very aggressive. But, again, it will be a, a bigger test here this week. Yeah, what are your initial thoughts on Illinois? Extremely physical. Uh, defensive is highly impressive. Uh, you watch what they had. Now they lost some guys to the NFL, but they're they're, they're still well coached. Physical defense. I was um, very impressed with the quarterback uh, with, with his play. Um, ran the ball a little bit better than maybe I anticipated. If, com- you know, compared to what we had heard. Um, you know, uh, an experienced line that's physical. Again, they have. Um, a mixture at the receiver position, um, and I'm bad on my name, so I should grab some things here. But the receiver position, you know, they've got make you miss quick guys. Uh, Elijah Williams, the former quarterback, I, I think he's really impressive. And they got some guys, of course, that are going to continue to stretch. So this will be a whole different dynamic for us. Um, I think it's Scott, the, the defensive back that, or the safety that returned it, is that, uh, I got the right name on I apologize again, was just a, he was a receiver. They moved to corner, couldn't then move to safety. Um, you know, he had the big pick six for him. Uh, it seems very comfortable back there. Uh, so, uh, you know, this will be a big challenge for us. And, uh, and uh, you know, one that, uh, you know, we have to be, be, be ready for and embrace at this stage. Brian doing? Brian is out there coaching today. So, you know, I say some people miss some people miss more more time on 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 colds and sniffles than Brian Borlema. He was in the office on on Saturday working. Okay, damn near to the point we had to kick him out. So, um, he's he's uh, back back at it. It's unbelievable, but not surprising. You mentioned Thanks. Kobe Baines. Uh, just wanted to ask. What has he kind of done to earn that spot as, as the first guy off the bench? And what is Armage's status well, currently? Well, you know, Armage's practicing today as well. You know, again, he, he went through some things and uh, you know, missed some time. But, uh, you know, we expect Armage back, um, barring anything. Um, you know, Kobe's worked hard. You know, Kobe's a little bit over a year in the program. You know, he joined us midway through camp, and, and, and that was a tough thing. And, and learned, But he's extremely physical. Uh, he's played. He played a lot of tackle. They moved him to guard. Um, you know, he gives us a physical presence in there, and and again that depth that we've been talking about. I was just wanted to ask real quick about a couple of wide receivers. I know Luke left midway through the game. Mm-hmm. How's he doing? And also Tanaka Scott didn't dress. So. Yeah, Tanaka's you know been battling uh, a leg, a, a hamstring. Um, he's been back out there. He's kind of been off and on, unfortunately. Um, you know. You know, kind of, kind of wait and see on him. Questionable. Luke, Luke was out there today, doing some things, but again, um, kind of wait and see on him. Yet it's early. I, I know it's, it's a second day of prep, but um, you know, coming off, we'll, we'll hopefully, you know, again have got everybody available. But to what extent, we won't know. And sometimes, with some guys, it, it, as it's been going through, it's they can do some, and then the next day, it's you know, it can be two steps forward, one back. So. But thank goodness we have depth. Defensively for you guys in the first half, first mm-hmm. quarter, it seemed like you guys did a really good job of getting hats to the ball. 
Mm -hmm. Can you just compare and contrast that in the first half versus maybe portions of the second half? And just generally, how important is that for you guys to, to have that? You thought we did well in the first half, you said? Yeah, kind of first quarter. Yeah, I mean, they ran 15 plays the second half. I mean, so I think we, you know, I, I think we did a pretty good job of, you know, creating two turnovers and things like that that kind of kept them out of rhythm. So it's hard to evaluate if we had, and, and two of those 15 were interceptions. So, uh, you know, to just say it was any different. Um, I, I thought holistically we played very aggressive the, the whole game defensively, um, under 50 total snaps. I think that I can pretty much um, assure you that's going to probably be different this week. And and uh, and with that, we're going to have to sustain that that energy and and you know. Uh, you know, hustle to the ball and all the little things because this is one game that uh, you, you've got to be sound all the way around and, and strain. With Brett, what sort of relationship do you have with uh, him? Uh, you know, Brett's been um, awesome to me. Um, you know, uh, when he was at Wisconsin, I was at Whitewater. We were, we'd use the indoor sometime, and there's a story where <laughs> their facilities people told us we couldn't practice there and it was right before we went to play for a national championship and so we practiced outside and it was 15 degrees regular temperature and about minus five wind chill and he and right when i was driving into work he said why didn't you just call me and ask and i would have moved our practice you know and that's that's his that's his facility but and then when i got the buffalo job he reached out twice and um invited me down to Fayetteville to, to, to sit down and go through things. And, you know, first time I thought it was general, and then he called us right before they're going to a bowl game. It was like, you know, like two days before Christmas. So I, you know, I said to my wife, I was like, you know, he's, he's calling, and I, I think I need to take him up on this. And it was immensely valuable for me about, about a yearly calendar and some different things. So I'll always be indebted to Brett and somebody that's kind of stayed with, you know, stayed through the, the time. But in the Illinois program, obviously different conference, but in terms of their style of play, is it similar to anyone you played in the Big 12 last year? Well, you know, they're, you know, you know, I don't know. I'm not one that, you know, they say Big 10 style of play versus whatever, because I, I think our conference has evolved to, you know, uh, a physical style. You, you look at, you know, whether it be Kansas State, Iowa State, Baylor, TCU was physical playing with tight ends. I, I think our whole conference does now. So, but it's a, um, you know, it, it's going to be very similar to things that went but the physicality and, and again, Brett B with his defensive background, you know they're going to be physical and well coached, fundamentally sound, and and you're going to have to execute consistently to beat them. You're not going to gimmick them. You're not going to hit a bunch of big plays. You've got to be able, and that's um, you know, and so that's going to be you know the difficult challenge and and one that we have to be ready for. Uh, you know. Aaron, Coach Henry's a, a new defensive coordinator. Had the bowl game head last week. Uh, uh, Jim Leonard, former defense coordinator at Wisconsin, kind of is an analyst and is going to have input there. Brett's experience. There. They've got a lot of great defensive minds in that room, um, and uh, you know, and so it'll be a good test. And uh, um, yeah, I'd... what what did you see from Hayden Hatcher? <laughs> typical hatch type game plays hard he's he's all about effort and playing playing to the whistle and you know he's kind of scrappy but i don't want to make that that he's not doesn't have ability and 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 that but he'll the, the thing is hayden gets every every bit of, every ounce of his abilities and effort that he that he can out of it when he's on the field and um if there's someone to me that's embraced the the fact that he Go out there, play as hard as I can for as long because I'm going to rotate. I, I think Hayden does that for us. You know, yeah, I was going to ask you too, uh, production-wise, can what he yeah. gave you in that one can that, can he be consistent with that? Do you I, think? I think so. Again, yeah. because it's a strain thing for him. I, I think he's one of those guys that you want to use as examples in your program because he plays so hard. Um, you know, he came in in the off season, like during the break, shortly after the bowl game, and wanted to talk and talk a little bit about his future and his role here and things like that because he want he, you know he's got a burning desire to be successful and and wanted to have opportunities. Can I be a starter? Can I be more impactful? And and of course, uh, just like anyone in our program, it's going to be competitively based and and results and and I, I think he's done an outstanding job. He's put on the weight that we asked him to to allow him to to maybe hold up a little bit more and and throughout the season and, and and he's done a great job through this fall camp of course with the heat and everything else of keeping that weight on 
you got the black hat, the black shirt. I got to ask you about these black uniforms. Mm. Then um, player input. Did you? Oh yeah. Oh, where did that? Where did that come from? How's what do you that think? come about? Do you like them? Yeah, they look yeah, good. Okay. I like the stripe. Uh, yeah, I like the stripe yeah, a lot. I'd, um. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't, can't remember the exact month that you know it was probably started with Kenny Logan and went to others, of course. But there's something you know, hey, coach, we can, you know, we we need black uniforms sometimes. You know, like you know, I've had them at every other school. Is that you know, they you know, players love them and they want them, and it's uh, you know, again, and everything else that happens in college athletics today is a lot of driven by players, and and uh, they're the ones out there doing it and everything else, and. Uh, I think we we were able to do a um, kind of kind of hit it for all. We got the players in, in 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 that type of in that look. I think we respected our school colors. We respected our past and the the circus font and and uh, everything. I think we touched on it all. Now, does that mean we please everybody? Probably not. Okay, but. Uh, um, they never told me I would when I when I became a head coach, but uh, I like them. I think it'll be a nice touch. I, I think, uh, but again, it's not. Uh, it's going to be how we play in them that's going to matter the most on Friday. Lance, in the spring, when you said we're going to put an emphasis on physicality, and mm -hmm. is this game a reason or somewhere where you hope that pays off? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this was a game that was very apparent to, of their style of playing was going to be, but also it's going to carry carry on to you know our conference play and 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 what you see you know week in and week out and uh, you know uh, you know very pleased with the first week but now as we play FBS schools uh, here on out um, and I think nothing against the second I mean I'm just like if you keep we're, we're gonna sit in here for how many weeks in a row we're gonna talk about the physicality of every team and um, and it starts this week just kind of looking at the uh, the kicking spot, is there anything definitively you want to see from Owen or Seth in trying to win that starting job? Oh, well, Seth's the starter. I mean, so, I mean, I, I think he did a fine job. I don't, you know, I and we can't make it up, you know, miss a kick, you're out, and all that. So, so right now, it's it's charted on a regular basis. It's It's been through consistency. I think it was nice to get Owen out there for one. Um, again, it, that's a balance of trying to get guys out there just like it is at any other position. And, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I think, again, looking back at the game, you get a chance to use a backup kicker. Your kickoff guy has, you know, majority of touchbacks, and you never had to use your punter. I, I think that's a pretty good day for, for kickers. And so, uh, um, but yeah, I, I think as we continue, uh, you know, there'll be roles for both those guys as we move along. And obviously, Jalen's kind of day to day. Has there been kind of updates on that? Yeah, I thought he had a really good day to day. But, you know, again, as I said with other guys, you, you know, and that's kind of where it's been sometimes. It's, you know, how's it feel the next day and things, things like that. Like I told him, I said, you know, you know, he was available to play. If we'd have put him out there and something would have happened, you know, it's like, okay, when and how much in the reps. But um, by far the most team reps that he's had in, since first week. And you mentioned getting some other guys in. How pleased were you with just the number of players you were able to get snaps on, on uh, Friday? Um, all in all, uh, I was very pleased. There, there's a few that I kind of wish I would have been a little more on top of a couple guys that wish could have maybe in some scenarios. It, um, it's always kind of a mixture, though, on either side because if you substitute too much in the flow, depending on what the opponent does, either you know that side of the ball or your opponent either stops you quickly or moves the ball a little bit more sometimes just based on things so but we're able to play a lot of guys and, and get them some experience and and uh, like I said the snaps counts weren't uh, total uh, like what was 66 plays and they had 48 now everybody's going to talk about the new rules and stuff but I also think there were some um, you know, both sides probably uh, strategy-wise to shorten it up and and snap it a little bit later and things like that. I want to talk about the new rules. What would you, you do? <laughs> what did you think of just the first game of having to work with the new clock and everything? Barely noticed it. Barely noticed it. You kind of look at the snap counts and like I, um, you know, I feel like I said, I, I looked at halftime and again we turned the ball over. And we got stopped at fourth and one, and so we had 25 snaps, and they had 33. So I guess it was moving pretty good. I don't know. I 
jokingly said to someone, now they'll look at the snaps and add more games to the schedule. So, um, but uh, I don't know. I, I think. I think when we look at it and it settles out a little bit, uh, who knows if there's any adjustments to it. But, um, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I didn't realize in baseball and stuff how much that's helped and it keeps fan interest and it, everything has to connect here between uh, whether it be television, fans in the stands, plays and sa player safety. So I'm more focused on whether or not, uh, you know, within those plays how we're executing. Uh, Coach, you had four different running backs with a touchdown this week on Friday. Do you plan to kind of narrow down to a couple for Illinois this week or continue spreading the love at that position? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, we've had four backs that have played a fair amount of, of uh, college football, and it, whether it be here or other places that have been productive, um, it's, it's hard to play four, and they know it. But, you know, there are situations, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get uh, multiple backs on the field together, so... Um, there's there's always the opportunity um, and again we always emphasize to all those guys is what's your special teams contributions on top of it but um, we'll see it'll be a game by game depending on game plan but again four back score I mean we I've said it in here many times we had 11 guys catch passes in a game that's a lot of touches we can distribute out to and and you know getting it to to the playmakers but keeping rhythm is also going to be very important anything else for coach all right. All right. Thanks, everyone.